In this video, we'll use the dormitory building system we set up in the last video. After choosing the key system, I am redirected to the Add Keys page. On this page, we can see that we have an A2 system because the system identifier is red. The top master key is automatically selected when the page loads and his key cuts are shown. Notice there are six cuts because we created a six pin system in the previous video. The total system size is also shown in parentheses. Notice also that the key cuts are shown for the selected key above the pie chart. When the top master key is selected, the control key cuts are also shown. The pie chart shows that we currently have 4,096 keys available because we haven't yet created any submaster groups. Let's create some now. First, we'll create a submaster key named A. I will enter A in the name field. This submaster group will be for the dormitory building called Pioneer Hall, so I'll note that in the description. I'll choose a group size of 1,024. This means that there will be 1,024 individual keys beneath the A submaster key. When I click the Add Submaster button, a new submaster group will be created, and its parent key, named A, will be added to the schema. Notice that when the top master key is selected now, the pie chart shows that 1,024 keys have been used and 3,072 remain available. This is because we have allocated 1,024 of the system's 4,096 keys to the A submaster group. Next, let's divide the 1,024 keys into smaller groups, one group for each of the three floors of the dormitory building. We'll allocate 256 keys for each floor. We start by selecting the A submaster key. Notice that the pie chart updates to show that the submaster A group is selected. The pie chart panel now shows the cuts for the A submaster key, and it shows that all 1,024 keys under this submaster are available. It also shows the description we added for the group, Pioneer Hall. Let's add Submaster AA for the first floor of Pioneer Hall. I'll enter AA in the name field and first floor in the description field. I'll select 256 for the group size and I'll click the Add Submaster button. When the A key is selected now, the pie chart indicates that 256 keys have been used and 768 remain available. If I select the AA key, the pie chart shows that all 256 keys allocated to the AA group remain available. Now let's see what the pie chart indicates if we select the top master key again. Even though we've added the AA submaster group, there are still only 1,024 keys used from the total 4,096. This is because adding the AA submaster group didn't take any keys from the top master key group. It took them from the 1,024 keys allocated to the A submaster group. Let's also add submasters for the second and third floors of Pioneer Hall. I'll select the A master key, then I'll enter AB in the name field. And second floor in the description field. I'll select 256 for the group size, and I'll click the Add Submaster button. I'll repeat these steps for the third floor submaster, which we'll call AC. When I select the A key now, the pie chart indicates that 768 keys have been used and 256 remain available. Now let's divide the first floor submaster into smaller groups, one for each of the three wings of the building. First, I'll create group AAA. It'll be a group of 64 keys. This group will be for the north wing. And I'll repeat this for the east and west wings. Now we have all the submasters for the first floor of Pioneer Hall. The procedure will be the same for the other floors. Now we have all our submaster groups for Pioneer Hall. 
In the next video, we'll add individual keys to our submaster groups.